Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to calculate mean and median using PANDAS and Python and also I'll, I'll show you PANDAS and Python, which one is faster when it comes to com com computing mean and median. And in this video series, I'm doing PANDAS aggregation methods. In the last video series, I did NumPy aggregation methods. So make sure you go ahead and check out that playlist. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, mean in PANDAS is as simple as doing df.mean. And boom, that, that's literally it. Doing this, it will give us the mean for every single column in our data frame. And df.head, this is a preview of what our data frame looks like is alcohol consumption data for US population. Now, how do you calculate the mean for a data frame using regular Python? There's a couple of ways you can do this. So you can go ahead and import the statistics module. And once you import Python statistics module, from here you do statistics dot mean, and then let me show you something. If we go ahead and pass in our data frame, let's see what happens. If we pass in our data frame, it's going to throw an error. So if you're using the Python statistics module, it cannot do mean calculation on the entire data frame by default. You have to go an extra step. But this is what we can do. We can do this. Now it's giving us the mean for this particular column, which matches the information we got here. So the all beverages column right here gives us the same information as the statistics.mean information. So that is how you use Python statistics module to calculate the mean. So one of the key difference between using PANDAS and using statistics, um, the regular statistics module is that PANDAS can do the calculation for every single column in the data frame. And that's because PANDAS is aware of those single columns. While the um, statistic module does not take into account the individual columns in this data frame. So by default, this operation right here is column-wise operation. Here we can go ahead and specify the axis equal to zero just to show you this. As you can see, if we specify the axis to zero, it will give us the exact same information that we got earlier above. If we go ahead and select this, and let's change this to horizontal, slash rows. If we want to do row wise calculation you just change the axis from 0 to 1 now it gives you the mean for every single row in your data frame so this is another advantage that the pandas mean function has over the python statistics mean function now if you have to choose between the statistics mean function and pandas mean function which one is faster well let's find out so I went ahead and did the mean for a single column using pandas, just like I did it with statistics, just to keep things um, consistent. So if we get and run this, you see that using the Python statistics module costs about 371 microseconds. Using the pandas mean function cost about 292 microseconds. So you can see that the pandas operation is much faster than um, the statistics operation. And also if you're working with an entire data frame, if you're trying to use the statistics module, you have to use, do this for like every single column and that can get old real quick. So that's basically it for mean and the same thing applies to median. And it gives you the median information for every single column. And then for Python, simply do statistics.median. 
and then you provide um, the data and it gives you the medium for this particular column which matches this information and of course you can also do this for row wise operation so here we do ax6 equal to 1 and now we have the medium for every single row and of course let's go ahead and time it real quick before I end this video so let's do the median and then the median here so actually in this case using the statistics module to calculate median on a single column is much faster than using the using the pandas library to calculate median all right so that's interesting right so when we did it here um so when we did it here, we saw that um, pandas is just a tad bit faster, and here um, statistics is faster. Now the difference in speed is not that much; these are microseconds. But if you're just curious, this is that information for you. That basically does it for me in today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far in this video but you didn't like it, please give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel. To get access to this notebook that I use in today's video, just go to machinelearningeducation.com and once you are here, click on free data science resources and you'll be able to get access to this page. And from here, you can get access to my data science tutorial notebooks. I create a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of blog posts. And I just find it easier and more straightforward to take all that content and put it under one platform. That is why I created machinelearningeducation.com slash free. From here, you can get access to my data science tutorial notebooks, to this particular notebook, and any notebook I use in my videos or blogs. Speaking of blogs, you can find my blog at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have my data science blog posts. And as time goes by, I'm going to add more, more stuff to my data science blogs. And once you're here, you can also click on free data science resources and be able to get access to this page. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.